So we will be continuing with our T-spine and L-spine range of motion testing with the passive range of motion now. So yeah, just like usual, I would like you to cross your hands on your chest and I will be doing the same motions we just did for the active range of motion. So the idea is that try to relax as much as possible. Now, unique situation with T-spine and L-spine range of motion testing like this, obviously the client won't be able to completely relax like a C-spine testing or shoulder testing or elbow testing. Um, you can't necessarily get a great um, result, great reading when they're already sitting this way. But the idea is to keep it as consistent as possible with the active, passive, and distant. So you try to get as much information as possible with the passive. So please cross your arms over your chest, okay? So I'm going to be pushing down this way, now flexion. Try to go as long as possible. Any pain? Okay. Then come back up. Now I'm going to be pushing from the back for T-spine, for thoracic, you can relax. I'm going to go back, okay, and relax. Now one thing to point out is that we're not looking for how much C-spine extension she has. So can you do that again? Go for it, the one you just did, okay, and relax. So clients will instinctively do this. Our job is to ignore this area because we're checking for the T-spine or L-spine. So if you're doing for T-spine palpation, please stay on the T-spine. If you're checking for L-spine, please stay on the L-spine. So that's flexion and extension. So I will be holding my, putting my hand right here, okay? I'm going to be like, so the power will be coming from my elbow. So I'm going to be pushing this way for lateral flexion on the left. And then I will have to move, and again, I will come this way, and then move, push, and that's it. So just to get a better idea from this angle, my hand is actually covering the entire upper back, and power is coming from the olecranon process, from the elbow, not from the wrist. So when I'm pushing down, I'm pushing down from this way, so she's rotating, she, sorry, the um, lateral flexing on the left side. So in that case, I can easily palpate the T-spine, or if I'm doing an L-spine testing, I can just palpate the L-spine. Spinous processes and transverse processes. So the idea is you can put your hand, middle finger on the spinous process and index and ring finger on the TBPs to see how they're acting according to the lateral flexion. So same idea, I will go to the other direction and then push down, give it an end feel and find out what's going on on the T or L according to that. Okay, for the rotation, let's get from this and then we're gonna get from the front angle because I would like to show what your hand is, uh, hand position on the front. But when I'm rotating her to the left, I need to move according with the client. Because if I don't move, it creates awkward situations like this one. <laughs> so I need to move with the client and my hand is on the again, SPs or TVPs as much as possible. Same with the T or L. So same idea, I'm gonna do that. So that was left rotation. And same again, I'm turning, right rotation, and give it a bit of an end feel to see how it's supposed to feel at the end. And in this particular case, tissue stretch all around. And then that's it. So that would conclude the um, T spine and L spine passive range of motion testing. Now let's get from the front and then see where my hand is holding. So as I mentioned, while at the back palpating at the front, I need to be more careful because sometimes we focus on too much on the palpation, we also basically forget the appropriate situation. So I need to make sure that my hand are solid and firm covering the front while she is putting a barrier. I've seen before that people put it way high to the point of choking the client or way low, that this basically doesn't mean anything. So you need to make sure that you're actually holding it properly while you're doing your rotation components. And same idea. Again, rotation components. And as I said, moving is very important because if I don't move one more time, it gets very awkward. You start staring at the client. It's funny now, but it might not be funny if it's an actual person that might not find it funny. And that again concludes our range of motion testing for passive.